Well, the health care debate is back in the spotlight in D.C. after the Trump administration said the court should strike down the entire Affordable Care Act for good. Senator and Indiana businessman Mike Braun is introducing a bill today aimed at lowering health care costs. Mike Braun joins our own Jessica Smith live in D.C. right now. Jessica. Hey, Dan, the president says the Republican Party is going to become the party of health care. This after you mentioned the Trump administration wants to strike down the entire Affordable Care Act. So joining me now to break all of this down is Senator Mike Braun. Thank you so much for joining us today. We want to get to your legislation. But first, what do you make of the Trump administration's move here to get rid of the ACA? So I was so excited yesterday when in our Senate luncheon, he said Republicans are going to own the health care issue. One of the main reasons I came here, that and infrastructure, most Hoosiers, most Americans are glad the Mueller report is behind us to actually start solving some problems. So I disagree a little bit that we need to get rid of, you know, that lawsuit to me was confusing because as a conservative campaigning, I kept getting called on it that you're a Republican and they were tying me to it. The ship has sailed. We've got to cover pre-existing conditions, no cap on coverage, and kids being on your plan till 26. Just because it was Obamacare, Affordable Care Act, the plan was a disaster. That's why it's falling apart. We need to get over it and start coming up with solutions, hold the health care industry accountable to start doing what Hoosiers and Americans want, better value, lower costs. So when you're in this meeting with the president, are you hearing a plan from him? What does he want to do here in order to find a replacement, maybe, if that's the goal for the ACA? Well, since I've gotten here, I've done three bills already to just start the process on speeding generics to come back to this country that are that tried and tested elsewhere, uh, keeping uh, Big Pharma from delaying brand names getting into generics through trickery. And I was, uh, when Alex Azar was trying to take the rebate going to PBMs when it comes to Medicaid, Medicare, I've got a bill out there to do it in private insurance. Those are little ways to do it, to start cascading the process for the industry to get with it with transparency and competition or else they're going to have one business partner, the federal government, and you know what the other side of the aisle is wanting, and that's an easy thing to sell. We need to stop it because that wouldn't be the best solution. So can you tell me a little bit about the bill you're introducing today to bring more transparency to this whole process? Very simple, and especially as it applies to insurance plans. Patients need to be able to see what they're paying for. A lot of plans are high deductible, and really nothing wrong with that if you've got the tools to you know price compare we don't have it yet i created that kind of availability in my own company but it was like pulling teeth to get it it needs to be easy anybody in the healthcare business drug companies distributors hospitals got this confusing thing called a charge master get it out there it would then drive prices down just like it does in any other industry i cite the example for a $1,000 big screen TV, if you save $50, you tra travel 60 miles to do it. But you've got the information. The healthcare care industry's got to quit hiding behind the shroud that they've created. With a divided Congress, is there any chance that you're going to get bipartisan support, that we're going to see bipartisan solutions here in the health care debate? Even though the other side is interested in the federal government being the payor, meaning the business partner with the healthcare industry, which a healthcare industry will hate. And for us as users, it's going to be not the best of both worlds because we're going to have a ration system. We're going to have things that aren't really working. So I throw the onus, the burden on the industry. Help guys like me that want to save yourself, but quit dragging your feet. I think Dan in New York has a question for you. Yes. Yes, I wanted to ask the senator, you know, with the tax cuts baked in, and I know that Mike uh, was formerly a business person, I just wonder what the next juice will be for the economy, you know, to boost GDP. Of course, that's Trump's uh, priority number one, but it seems like most of the issues right now that a lot of the GOP is talking about are social issues. So I wonder uh, what you think we can do next, what's going to be the next policy change that will help juice the markets? Well, we need to be able to at least talk about two things at once, and I know I'm going to keep touting the economy. As a Main Street entrepreneur, 
tax reform was the biggest thing that's come along since I've been in business, and that's been 37 or eight years. We can't lose sight of that. That's the context that's going to drive the economy forward. It's what we litigate versus the Green New Deal, which is about 40 to 90 trillion of doubling or tripling our current government size when we don't even pay for 30 percent of it now and we run these deficits. Comes to health care, Democrats think they own the issue because they are talking about the things that are important to Hoosiers and Americans. You can't go broke because you get sick or have a bad accident. There shouldn't be any cap on coverage. And the sad thing is we lowered costs by doing that, but it was, again, like pulling teeth to get a good plan from the insurance companies. So we need to tout how that's going to work and then make sure we don't lose sight that it'll all be for naught if we go down the trail of the Green New Deal Medicare for all. All right. I think we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much, Senator Mike Braun of Indiana. We'll send it back to you in New York. All right. Thanks, Jessica. And our thanks again to Senator Mike Braun of Indiana.